gorilla. Hey! Hello, everyone. Uh, I just need to get my sound enabled on my side. You guys should be hearing it okay, but I can't actually hear the game yet, so let me fix that real quick. Anytime I have the uh, capture card audio running, it always has like a bit of a hum, a very low, you know, quiet hum in the background. So anytime I'm not streaming, I usually turn it off. But then I always forget to re-enable it before I... Oh god, that's so loud. Okay. <laughs> then I always forget to re-enable it before we actually start a stream up, start playing. Alright, let's get that minimized. Let's freaking go, dude. Just remember that I bought First Frights, which is the first version of the series. What? Wait, this is part of a, like a specific series? I honestly didn't know that. I thought this was just like a game in the series, or just a, a Scooby game. I didn't realize it was a uh, part of a series or anything like that. Well, shit, dude. Now I got to get the rest. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna get the rest anyways, but now I got to get it sooner. I want to know what the rest of the series is like. Is it all like one big storyline or something like that? Or are they like separate game or like... I don't know. I don't know how it looks or how it works. Better than the cool, than the be cool Scooby-Doo, obviously. <laughs> separate stories, you think? Okay, okay. As long as it's separate stories. I mean, I was, I'd still play it tonight either way. But I hate playing games out of order, so I try not to when I can uh, when I can help it. Scooby-Doo uses an autosave feature. That's fun. And voila! <laughs> it's like a work of art, man. Oh, oh. May the hungriest dude win. <laughs> Thelma, can you give me a hand? Coming, Fred. I'll even give you two hands. Oh, like that's it. I'm out of here. They are weird looking, aren't they? <laughs> I am done with other people's mysteries. From now on, it's you and me, Scoob, hunting down the biggest mystery of all. Hello? Yeah, the mysterious sounds coming from my empty stomach. <laughs> oh, man. Like you smell that? Let's go, Scoob. Uh -huh. It's weird that they have, like, a laugh track going on in the background. Like, hey, what's up, Nate? Welcome oh, to the stream, man. bro. Like, you smell that? like it's uh, filmed in front of a live audience or something, you know? Okay, Scooby's got some hops on him, dude. It's weird how he kind of floats in the air for a second. Can we change characters? We can. Okay. And Shaggy's got the same kind of weird hop going on. Can we break stuff? Oh... Wait a second. Okay, so he shoots through from a slingshot. Things are dropping Scooby Snacks, though. What are the Scooby Snacks used for, I wonder? It's weird that, like, they don't all just drop at one time. What is uh, Scooby Snack? <laughs> a chain of hot dogs? Hell yeah, dude. What do the other buttons do? Anything? Doesn't seem like it at the moment. Okay, we can call Velma real quick. How, how do we call Velma? Circle, triangle, nope, triangle switches. X, square. Uh, maybe, maybe Scooby can't talk on the phone or whatever that is. Excuse me, game? <laughs> how does this work? It's broken. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm assuming the game will tell us what's up with that at some point. Can we... Oh, okay. Nope. We can't go in the water. Stay out of the water. Can we collect that? Can we jump that far? We cannot jump that far. Okay. That's fine. We'll come back this way. I mean, the game was trying to lead us in the other direction. So I think it's reasonable to... to to believe we should go the other way. Enter the clubhouse for rewards, collectibles, options, and cheat codes. That's very cool. Speaking of, options would actually be nice. Do we have like a... I thought you said there were options in here. <laughs> Is it under extras? There we go. 
Music speech effects. Oh, we can turn off the laugh track? That's nice. The Velma thing is when you replay the level to get everything. Oh, so it like it does doesn't matter right now. Gotcha. Do you know what the point of all the Scooby snacks are that we can collect? Like, is that something we should be going out of our way to, to break stuff and get them? Or does it not really matter that much? Can we shoot the chicken? No. Can we grab the chicken? We can. Why? I thought maybe it'd be like Legend of Zelda where the, the chicken makes you hover for longer. But no, it doesn't really seem to do anything. Account store completion. It's for costumes. Okay. So probably something we don't need to worry about right now unless we decide to do like a completionist run or, or you know, to play through the entire game later or something, which, I mean, it's Scooby-Doo. So as long as the game doesn't suck, it's probably going to go on the list, let's be honest. <laughs> for drugs like meth and crack? I don't know, man. I couldn't see Shaggy doing any of that stuff. I could see Shaggy smoking a lot of weed, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is smoking a lot of weed. Generally speaking. Okay, nothing over there. Right stick doesn't seem to do anything either. I'm assuming as we play the game, we'll get the ability to do a little bit more stuff than just jump and shoot. If you forget what you're doing. Oh, we can ground pound. Okay. Press select. I also find it hard to believe that Shaggy and Scooby would willingly traverse this swamp. I mean, I guess it is for the scent of some delicious food. Press square to attack and try attacking the spider. There's a spider? Am I blind? I ain't seeing no spider around here, dog. I think it's because they smell... Oh, no, it's definitely because they smelled food, but like... Oh, so this is kind of like, uh... <laughs> What the the Lego games where certain characters can do certain things? Oh, so Shaggy can like Oh, he can use a yo-yo to get across? Okay. That's kinda neat. Oh man, it smells like tacos! <laughs> no no no, wait! Ground pound? SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom? Uh, I'm trying to remember if I actually have that one or not, because I know I have the remaster of it, but I can't remember if I have the PlayStation 2 version. I don't think I have the PS2 version yet. I'll definitely be getting it. It's one that I've been wanting to play in general, so if I see a good deal on it, I'm going to be picking it up, but... Oh, no. We fell. Nothing else over here. It's great. I've heard good things about it. And like I said, the remaster looks really cool. Um, so I definitely do want to want to get it. Wait, that's how you spell that word? I have no idea what you're talking about there either, Rue. <laughs> uh. So do we have to like... Oh, we don't even have to ground pound that. We can just stand on it. GPA version is bad. Don't play it. That was a problem with a lot of uh, mobile ports back in the day. They were nothing like the original games that they were meant to take after. Will you stay there, Shaggy? No, Shaggy. St okay, Scooby, stay there. Oh, it's a timed thing. Jump, damn you. <laughs> Got it. What do we get if we spell out Scooby? I know, Scoob. I'm scared, too. But, like, it smells like all of our favorite foods wrapped in one humongous burrito. <laughs> oh. Wait, is that not how lasagna is spelled? <laughs> is there actually no A on the end of lasagna? Bonus, maybe. Scooby medallion. These are a little hard to find, but they give you 500 Scooby snacks. Well worth snooping around for? 500? Let's go, dude. I still don't know if it's worth collecting them, but hell yeah. Give me all the points, please. No, don't go in the water. I wish I wish we could swim. <laughs> We're a dog. I'm pretty sure they've swam in the show before game. Oh. Oh, wait. 
I'm confused. Did we not just die in the water a moment ago? Apparently not. That sounds like some Mandela shit right there or something. And wrote on mechanical sharks. Don't forget that. I had such a hard time while I was at the store earlier today. I saw a bunch of uh, Scooby stuff for Halloween, like movies and whatnot. I was so tempted to pick them up, but I need to remember that I'm trying to save some money. Damn, dude. Can we not get back up there? Maybe we can go the long way around? Uh, doesn't really look like it. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't know. I mean, they were only like... There was a, a new original one or whatever that was $10 for its, by itself. The other collection was like $10 for all of them or something like that. So, I mean, it's not like it's super expensive or anything like that. It's just, like I said, just trying to save some money, you know? Okay, so, so far we have sandwiches to collect, Scooby snacks to collect, the Scooby, like, Tony Hawk style spelling stuff out things to collect. Wait, why are we picking up the bags of flour? What are, what are we doing with these? I mean, I assume there's a reason for us collecting them, right? Is it just to throw at stuff? I mean, Shaggy has an infinite... I must call it a bazooka. What the hell is it called? Slingshot. I don't think we really need... Bags of flour. Okay, we'll take it with us. If it'll let us. Yeah, boy. Is it gonna... Do we have to pull it again? Oh. <laughs> I love how the bag of flour just kind of stayed there. Didn't go with us at all. That's nice, man. Good, uh, good game programming there. Love that. <laughs> Ow, man. I'm with you. Hush, Shaggy. You'll be fine. I imagine you dream of being smacked with a, a hot dog nunchuck, so I don't think you should be complaining, bro. Hey, Scoop, come on. It's like up here, dude. You mean the way I'm going, Shaggy? Hello. Food. Random Yummy. person in the woods. Ooh. <laughs> don't don't drink the random soup, dude. Oh man, like that smells so good. This stew, I'm making it for you, boy. For I don't us? see this ending well, what? honestly. Do I don't. You know us? <laughs> of course. Why else would I be making this incredibly delicious concoction? <laughs> she definitely knows us. <laughs> so, like, serve it up then. Patience, Shaggy. It's not finished. Not finished? No, I don't. It is I don't think this is the brightest idea they've ever had. Special ingredient. Well, <laughs> we just happen to be mystery solvers, specializing in finding missing ingredients. <laughs> In order to find these particular ingredients, you must prove yourselves first. Head to the dojo. There will be a beast there. Defeat it. Then we will talk. <laughs> Can't we just get them from the market? Head to the dojo and complete my challenge before you return. What is this? Is this a jar of pickles? Can we put it in the- Ow! <laughs> okay, soup's hot. Don't jump in the soup, guys. Holy shit. Hold on, I want the rest of these. I'm assuming they're pickles. I don't know why pickles are exploding in Scooby Snacks, but I don't even care, man. I get pickles and Scooby Snacks? Let's go. Oh, no. Do they still make Scooby Snacks? That was a thing, right? Like, I'm not crazy. I don't think. These are like normal snacks, except you get 50. Make sure you don't miss any of these. Okay. So we're already up to 724. I feel like that's pretty good. I mean, that's a lot of Scooby snacks, man. Shaggy and Scoob usually get like two per episode. 
Yeah, you're right, Scoob. Food first, questions later. Scooby Doo Graham Crackers are indeed still around. Man, I, I think I'm just hungry. <laughs> I did I did eat some uh, soup that I had made yesterday before the stream started. But now I'm just thinking of like graham cracker crust pies and shit like that. Okay, so this won't work yet, I'm assuming, because we don't have the other gear. Okay. But the gear was up top. Follow the trail of Scooby Snacks. It won't lead us wrong. I thought Scooby Snacks would somehow be related to like our health or something, to be honest with you. Oh, well, that was... <laughs> that was a lot easier than I expected it to be. Uh... Nice. Now pull the lever. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this game was probably made for, like, children. Though I suppose it could get much more complicated later. Does Scooby have infinite health while we're not using him and vice versa? I think <laughs> I think we kind of stun locked the spider man. <laughs> was it though? Was it a close one? Hi dye shirt, like serious. Twenty five trippy colors, man. <laughs> oh my God, how do we? Um, I guess we probably have to go back to the base or whatever to put that on. Wait, what's the secret ingredient that we got? I thought the ingredient would have been in the chest, but that was just a shirt. She's not going to make us, like, a shirt stew, is she? <laughs> I don't really want to eat a shirt, so man. Like not going to lie. Over the dojo. Very good. So, like, when do we get to eat? <laughs> it's almost time for pre supper supper. <laughs> She's doing laundry. <laughs> oh, God. First, more ingredients. You must travel through the desert town of El Muncho and... El Muncho? Far from here, but you can take your mystery machine, and I will instruct you with my radio when you arrive. You must not tell the others. Here, you'll be needing this. Wait, we're, <laughs> we're literally traveling across America? So that we can... Now, Gather ingredients for a stew. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on a second. You give us a camera and offer us food? <laughs> what are you like, Santa Claus? No, no, I am Lila, and I have lived in this swamp my whole life. I was born to a traveling family, and they left me behind. That's not very nice, you dude. Have to stay here. I cannot tell you, but I must never leave this swamp. She's dead, isn't sure she? Sure you can. Come take a ride to El Muncho in the mystery machine. I warn you, do not tempt me. You endanger us all. I can feel it. You must leave now. I feel like she's dead or something and her soul's like linked to the swamp. Ah. Turn to the dojo to practice our combat skills. I think I can handle it, game. How do we get up there, though? I see another one of those Scooby medallion things. Does Scooby have a smash ability? He does. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's something we can get later. Oh, God. <laughs> We're in the water. That's fun. All right. So let's go hop in the mystery machine. Don't tell anyone that we're leaving. Oh, man. Like, Head to another to town entirely. To Take some pictures. Oh. All for this random lady that's making soup in a swamp. <laughs> yeah, nope. Sounds like a normal Sunday to me, man. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm just assuming this is a Monday or a Sunday. Seems like a Sunday. Feels like a Sunday, man. Maybe, maybe soup is just a, a Sunday thing to me. At least we move pretty quick. At least it's Scooby. I don't know if Shaggy runs this quick. He just having to teleport to keep up sometimes. Yeah, I'm thinking we get more powers later on or something like that. 
So there doesn't seem to be any way to break yeah, that open right now. Any ideas yet, Scoob? Like I'm fresh out, man. Me too. Oh wait, no, we've already been up here. Don't go that way. Through the hole. Oh wait, how do we get... How do we get up? Hold on. Do we... Maybe from up top here... Oh, what the hell just happened? Maybe if we go over here we can jump down? There we go. Yeah. Random loading screen, that's fine. I checked the disc before uh, before we got started. It actually looks really good. Thankfully, this one and the next one both look damn near mint, so hopefully we won't have any problems tonight. Wait, where are we going? Did I get lost? Okay. I did get lost. Shouldn't be a surprise. <clears throat> Elbow or spaghetti noodles? Uh, for butter garlic noodles, I usually go with spaghetti. A holiday? Huh? We can squeeze that into our schedule. Bye. Who was that, Velma? Costington. Jeepers. We haven't seen him since the food festival. I'll go grab the guys. <laughs> I feel like the the smaller noodles. Spaghetti noodles just do better with, uh, with those. With, with butter garlic noodles. Baseball glove? Big fists? Big sunglasses? Wait. So we can't equip this stuff, this is just costume parts? Man, I was kind of hoping to put on the, the tie-dye shirt, I'm not gonna lie. So that's rewards, what are collectibles? Okay, okay, okay. That's the stuff that we grab. Got it. We use the mystery machine? No, okay. Maybe we need to talk to them first? Wait, there's no option in here to talk to anyone. Uh... <laughs> Does Scooby have to do the driving? How do we get in the mystery machine? Looks like Velma has something important to tell you. Talk to her outside the club. Oh, she's outside. She's right freaking there. I'm blind as shit, dude. to the back of the mystery machine and use the road map to show Fred where to go? I mean, you couldn't just let me in, dude. I was already over here trying to interact with it. Go to El Muncho. Gonna get off? You need sleep? No problem, man. Take it easy. Hope you get some good rest tonight, dude. Population five. Cemetery population. I didn't see what it said. You can't just go wandering around when we get there. Seventeen fifty-six. Wait, what? Uh. The cemetery population was going down, not up. I think these dudes might be a little undead. Based off of what we've seen so far, and the fact that the cemetery population is going down. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's the way cemeteries are supposed to work, man. Well, if this place isn't the definition of ghost town, what's going on here? Where is everyone? Hmm, that's a bit strange. Like, I've got the creeps, man. <laughs> Hold it right there, troublemakers. Try not to run into the sheriff, guys. I don't think that'll end well for anyone. It's not? No. No. <laughs> not usually, no. They, in my experience, they tend to go up over time, not down. Going down might be a problem. Oh, we were taken to jail? What? <laughs> we didn't even do anything. I mean, sure, we almost hit him, but we didn't. Velma, any ideas? Still thinking. Who's that in the other cell? Looks like a local. 
He's got to know something. I'm okay with everyone except for Velma. Velma looks really weird in this. Shaggy's hair also looks a little weird. I would argue, though, that Scooby actually looks really good. I really like what they did with Scoob here. Dude, we could totally just jump out of this thing. If you smell burning, you may or may not have dropped a noodle on the burner. You're not supposed to drop yourself on the burner, love. <laughs> no noodles on burners. I do not know why I'm here. Maybe I was bad. I don't know. I can't remember being naughty. You see, the sheriff, he is loco. Like, you mean he's crazy? See, loco. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I cannot even remember how long I've been in here for. Well, I do that long. See, two days is a long time, but the sheriff, he is a funny one. I thought you said he was more the crazy type. See, crazy funny. If he gets too crazy, he falls asleep. <laughs> it is funny. Like, this man, guy I doesn't make much sense. This is a bit funny. <laughs> Fred's hair is your least favorite? Scooby, come here. I can't really see it through the bars. <laughs> hey, you. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. No okay. Reason, you know. Yeah, man. Like, we're only tourists. <laughs> you see my badge? I'm the law in these parts. Plus, I know you're the ones causing all the trouble around here. And you call yourselves El Scariachi. El Scariachi? We're Mystery Inc. And if you're the sheriff, where's your deputy? I ask the questions around here. You do look like you could use a hand. <laughs> Me? The sheriff? I don't need any help, and I certainly don't need you questioning my authority. You don't look like much of a sheriff. Yeah, like I'm more scared of hunger pains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Listen They're here, trying to you. piss him off so he falls you asleep. Troublemakers, I'm the best sheriff this town has ever seen. Who the hell falls asleep when they get tired? <laughs> what the See, fuck, I dude? You. Hey, Shaggy, now's our chance. Why don't you and Scooby look for a way out? All right, Scooby Doo, it's up to us. Leapy Sheriff. This lunchless prison. Okay. Hey, why don't? I don't know oh. Who the scary guy that the sheriff mentioned is, but he sounds too scary for us. Sorry, my mic arm, like, doesn't want to stay put for some reason. I don't know if the springs are wearing out or... Come on, game. Or not game. Mic arm, stay put. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and it's gone. Give me one sec. I might have to put a little bit of weight on it, I think. I don't know why it's doing this all of a sudden. I never had problems with it before, but it's acting up. Hoping if I put just a little bit of weight on here. There we go. That's better. Yeah. I guess the mic itself was just a little too late. Light. Why is chocolate milk so good? Why is milk in general so good? I agree on chocolate milk. Chocolate milk's pretty dope. Not a big fan of just regular milk, though. Honestly, I'm not a huge milk person in general, but like, I don't know. I like chocolate, I guess. So, <laughs> like, it doesn't really matter what kind, just chocolate's some good shit. Wait a second, have people died inside the prison here? Why is there a chalk outline on the ground? That really fills me with confidence, bro. Oh boy, you smell that, Scooby Doo? Follow Liveless Central? Wait a man, the sweet smell of, yeah, hamburgers. Uh -huh. Um, who's Lila? Oh, it's the the lady, Follow the, the swamp lady. <laughs> what a taskmaster! How is she leaving a scent here? I thought she couldn't leave the swamp. Also, game, load, please. Swamp Witch. Yeah, but she's supposed to be stuck in the swamp. How is she, like, just magic? I mean, I... Look. <laughs> 
I can't argue with that one, dude. <laughs> Anything's possible with magic. Maybe it is. I don't know. Could some magic get my game to load, please? That's weird. Like, I can pause. Maybe we just need to reload. Save and quit. And then maybe if we come back, it'll start working? I'm guessing it's just some sort of glitch. So the disc is immaculate, dude. Like, other than a couple tiny smudges, it looks like it's basically brand new. So there's no reason for this one not to be loading. Well, we've been playing for a half hour so far, not counting load time, so that's pretty good. Just because, like, I didn't realize how long we've been playing for, so I must be enjoying it to some degree. I think you throw Shaggy and Scooby on anything, though, I'm probably going to enjoy it. Press start. Uh, profile one. Wait, what? <laughs> we're, we're still in our prison uniform. Uh, <laughs> okay. So wait, what hap- I'm confused. <laughs> what happens now when we go back here? Are we gonna be stuck in the prison again, or are we gonna be outside of it? You know what I love? Saltwater taffy, dude. Saltwater taffy is the shit. I don't know what it is about saltwater taffy, but I love it. I'm not a huge taffy person in general because of like how sticky it is, but something about saltwater taffy, man, just tickles my fancy in all the right spots. You're all right. <laughs> we climb this? Oh, we actually get to play as the other guys at some point? So Daphne can climb things? And Velma can use the phone thing. What does Fred do? Set traps? I need a key or something for that. Velma Techie Fred Strong. Oh, so does he like just move things or something? Press and hold triangle and select Velma to use the Velma terminal. Oh, wait, we can. What is this? Is that a disguise? Oh, this is where we. We can change our costume here. Hell yeah. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> we can put a freaking pumpkin head on. What else is there? I got to see what the options are now, dude. Giant glasses, panda head, a hat, a sandwich hat, uh, just a purple hat. I, I don't even know what that hat is. <laughs> that kind of looks like Clank from Ratchet and Clank, dude. Pirate hat, Santa hat. The sandwich hat, <laughs> pumpkin head. What are the other ones? The tie-dye shirt and then just regular. Okay, so yeah. So those ones we just haven't really unlocked yet. Monster hands. I'm assuming these aren't meant to be pure white. Uh, no, I guess they are. Maybe it's like, maybe, can you get a whole panned outfit maybe? Yeah, because those look like uh, robot feet. Monster feet. God, how many are there? And back feet. The sandwich hat. Okay, we'll put the sandwich hat on Scooby. And then if we have the money, we'll put the panda hat on Shaggy. 
Oh wait, it didn't go on. Why didn't it go on? Hold on. Excuse me, game. I purchased a hat. Why did it not go on? Did I hit the wrong button? Maybe I hit the wrong button. I've been known to do that sort of thing before. Ready. There we go. Okay. Now switch, hold. Uh, panda hat. Shaggy looks really weird whenever <laughs> the things load because his hair must be part of his model because <laughs> he loses the entire top of his head, dude. Every time we load a new one. But no, it, it, it does cost 500, so we'll have to come back. Whenever we, or I guess we don't have to come back, but we'll change his costume to the to the panda head whenever we get another hundred thingamabobs. Scooby, Scooby snacks. Where's that scent trail? There it is. Turn to the jail alley. Okay. I don't actually know where that is since I kind of uh, <laughs> escaped in a way I don't think I was meant to. The sheriff is mumbling in his sleep. Something about explosives might help us get out of here. Why don't you sneak around and record him? For sure, man. All right, Scooby Doo. Wait, Time what? To How's record this shabby sheriff? How's recording him gonna help anything? No more gunpowder. Locked it up good and slowed. Oh. Okay. I see. I mean, we could have just listened. I feel like we don't really need to record it, but. Recording revealed that there's gunpowder locked away in the saloon. It can be used to free the gang. If there's one thing I love besides food, Scooby. Oh, good. A dead mariachi band. I like it. For guys dressed like mariachis, they weren't too merry at all. <laughs> the Shaggy seems a little OP, dude. Some monsters drop masks that Velma can study, collect enough of each type to unlock special rewards. I was kind of hoping we could put on the mask and then they wouldn't, like, attack us anymore. And I, like, pretend to be one of them by wearing a disguise. Ground pound. I already know how to do that. Where... Are we even going the right way? Sadly, this is not Scooby Doo. Wait, is that something that you can do in Unmasked? How many other of the PS2 Scooby games have you played? None. This is the first one I've ever played. Watched uh, Scooby Doo the show all the time, but I've never played a Scooby Doo game except for that terrible one on the Super Nintendo and now this one. Yeah, as much as I love Scooby-Doo, it's it's weird, dude. <laughs> You'll give me the list? You got it, man. I mean, though, they're going to be on my list. If you uh, can't find them easily enough or whatever. And, of course, you're free to vote for them. It'll make it more likely that we pick them up as part of one of our goals. But, since there is, like, over a thousand games on that list right now, it's going to, you know... <laughs> Having a couple votes does technically increase the chance a specific game will get picked, but <laughs> it doesn't change it as much as like the games we're going to play right away would, you know, because the games that we need to try, there's only what, 30 of or something like that. The, all the games we need to collect, there's freaking, like I said, like over a thousand. I don't remember the exact number. I want to say like 1500 some left for us to get like maybe 1570 it's a lot that's all i know okay put that on click ready 
There we go. Is this the saloon? No. Okay, well, if these are just get used for uh, costumes, I don't think I'm going to worry about collecting them right now. A part of me, the, the completionist side of me, really wants to, but, like, I also just kind of want to see where we can get to, how far we can get. Shaggy's OP as hell with his ranged attack. Especially when you got Scooby tanking for us. So there's Night of 100 Frights, Unmasked, First Frights, Spooky Swamp, which I have, and the Mystery Mayhem. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five of them, and I have one. And you have three of the five? Hey man, check it out. A pianola. Guess we've got to match the colors. <laughs> How? Do we... My brain. How do we play it? It says to match the colors, but... Find and throw the three colored reels into the... Okay. okay. Oh, shit. Hi. <laughs> uh, didn't realize you guys came behind the counter or in front of the counter. My bad. If you don't mind just dying real quick, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, so this is blue. So we don't want this one yet. We'll just sit it down over here, I guess, and then go up top. How do we... I'm assuming we're going to have to, like, swing that or something, but how? We just, like, run side to side on it? Damn it. <laughs> Game! There we go. Now we're talking. No! What? <laughs> I could have swore we had it that time. Maybe we have to jump the other way around. Maybe we just can't jump over that... Over that banister. No! How do we... Oh, oh there's a Scooby door. Maybe we'll just try the Scooby door. Maybe maybe we actually can't jump that way. Yeah, that, that was much easier. <laughs> Wait. Where's the red one? Wait, shit. Where'd the other ones go? Okay. The red one just spawned in front of us? I'm... I'm confused. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> now where'd the blue one go? It respawned over here. Okay. Oh, shit. Does that mean the red one's gonna respawn up top? Maybe it's just like a timed thing. Maybe we're fine. That was a hard puzzle. I'm surprised that I was able to figure it out. Uh, this gunpowder isn't gonna like just blow up, right? Do we <laughs> do we need to rush? Are we gonna be okay? Maybe <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be taking detours. I don't know, dude. I'm sure it'll be fine. What are the chances? Just, just ignore the banditos. It's fine. They're all fine. Just keep running. Uh, can I? Oh, okay. I'm really glad this thing doesn't just like blow up at the slightest disturbance. I'm also really happy that it doesn't seem like it's actually on a timer, because if it was, we'd be fucked. <laughs> oh my god, game. Uh. Character wheel. You can now play as many, any member of the gang. Just hold a triangle to change your characters. Oh, you lost. <laughs> You're not Nate, dude. Nate's the only one that can consecutively win that thing over and over again. 
The man's secretly elite hacker, I swear. He claims he knows next to nothing about it, but I think he's been spending all his time figuring out how to hack into Streamlabs and ensure his his winning odds. What kind of weapon do you have? Martial arts, that makes sense. Well, I guess it's not really martial arts, but kicks and shit. What, uh, what about Fred? Is he like a, a punchy boy? Yeah, punchy boy, I figured as much. And then what about Velma though? Do they each have their own health pool, too? Wait, is she... What is... Is she throwing books at people? <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Yeah, you can even see the pages fly out of them whenever it hits shit. That's awesome, man. I like it. That's an excellent weapon for her. Truly don't know anything about hacking something like the butt. Mm. Yeah, likely story, dude. I wasn't paying attention, I'm sorry. Can we can we start again? Left, up, down, down. That was a hard ass puzzle, dude. Puzzle. Fuck, dude, I can't talk tonight. I'm tired, man. That's all it is. I am freaking beat. I feel like I am more often than not anymore, but, you know. <laughs> Nothing new, I suppose, but holy shit. Wait, do we have to do it again, or is that going to make us go through the other side? Up, left, down, left. Let's go. Just fresh strangle people with his ascot? No, he doesn't strangle people. He just beats the hell out of them <laughs> with his fists. You know. <laughs> As he does in the show, all the time. Too easy. Had to run a command to shut down all the computers in your local school district. Nice, nice. Not sure what Daphne would do kick, yeah. She actually knows martial arts, dude. Costing That's ten. canon. Hmm. I wonder what he's been up to since the mystery of Keystone Castle. It sure has been a while. Something tells What's me he's here for oh. a reason. The hatch disappeared. Oh, it's back. Hi, hat. I want to catch you. No. Oh, it's a frog. You have uncovered my masterful disguise. You like? I will be undetectable to the human eye. Zombies? Well, I don't think they fancy frogs. <laughs> I am impervious to the zombies. Now, you two go. I have froggy business to take care of. What the hell happened in this town that, <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of zombies and, and skeletons and shit. And then you have a talking frog just running around in a hat. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. All uh, episodes of Scooby-Doo are a fucking like drugged out fever dream. But like, the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, the ad manager is about to run, so I think this is probably a pretty decent spot to go ahead and take a short break. I need to stand up and stretch and stuff before I fucking fall asleep anyways, although I am enjoying the game, so I'm excited to come back to it, but we do got to take our break. We'll be back in like three to five minutes, guys. There we go. Ow, ow! Oh shit, we're dizzy too. Uh, dizzy's bad. Dizzy's bad. Get out of dizzy. Ooh, Jesus, man, we are taking some freaking hits. Okay. Oh god, dizzy again. Can we use an item while we're dizzy? We cannot. <laughs> that's right. And that's why we got this here, uh, muggle, you see? We just, we eat that real quick and recover. Oh, that was a pitiful amount of experience, or er, of, uh, HP. Honestly expected a little bit more. Okay, we really have to kill the bear because the bear just keeps healing itself. 
Oh, uh, God, are we poisoned? We are poisoned. Okay. So, we should probably go ahead and use one of the antidotes that we have. Uh, it's a three-use thing, it seems, so that's fine. Go ahead and use that, and then... Son of a bitch! Stop jumping at me, bro! <laughs> oh, more monsters. Good, that's, that's exactly what we want. Uh... <laughs> Why not go ahead and plant one of the muggle seeds in case there's enough that we get from this boss here? Hopefully it will be enough. To get it to grow, I mean. Uh, jump before... Uh, okay, we need to stop fucking attacking. Shit, the pow thing is gonna take some getting used to, man. Uh, okay, we definitely need to heal. Do we have anything else that will let us heal? Anything at all. We have onions. It's probably not the best thing to eat, but, like, it's the only thing we got right now. So, onions it is. <laughs> also, we need to fucking run. <laughs> Where was that mulberry that we planted? Where? Mulberry? Mr. Mulberry, sir? There you are. Kill the bear. Hopefully the bear will drop enough that we can get the mall berry going. Oh god, because we definitely need the health, man. Oh, you dropped something. What'd you drop? Food? Please be food. A muggle seed. That's not... <laughs> that's not very helpful. We're gonna die. <laughs> we are so dead. Oh yeah, nope, that's it. Oh, we got five. Nope. There we go. Okay, well... <laughs> we're we're kind of fucked. Jump! Ah, the fucking double mouth thing, dude. I'm back. Did I miss a boss fight? Uh, yeah, but only, like, area bosses. Not not any of the, the main bosses, so... No biggie. Oh, you know what I need to do really quick, actually, is plant these other muggle seeds so we get more, more food. More food, very helpful. All right, area complete. Thank the goodness. <laughs> glide attacks are your friends? Are the glide attacks where, like, the one that, that does, like, a downward swing, like that one? Or, like, that one, I mean, right there? Is that the one you're talking about? Also, I should probably absorb some of this shit. Alright. Pick up my muggles. Yeah, the second one. I thought that's what you meant, but I wasn't positive. And we used our ancient thing, so we have no more revives, which is not very good, especially for, uh, you know, whenever we get to the area boss. Depicted in the Book of Botany, Baramet, also called the Scythian Lamb, is an amazing plant that grows sheep instead of fruit. The meat that comes from these sheep is at least as good as that of normal sheep that takes months to raise. What? That sounds weird as shit. We are pretty hurt, though. Also, if you ever can, there's a necklace that reduces poison shit. I think the shopkeep actually did have that. I'm not sure I had enough uh, gold to pick it up. We can go back and check in just a moment, though. Also, I noticed that the Cubs Bane says it's poison. Does it actually hurt us if we eat it, or... It, no. <laughs> just just out of curiosity. Uh, Baramet. Ripens with 12 Phosons. Grows sheep with high HP recovery. Okay, so we probably want to grow some of that. 30 HP, 120 EXP. Can we get another level from one of these Muggle Seeds? No, it doesn't. I honestly forget what I asked. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> I, I'm sure I asked something that was uh, semi-useful to know, but uh, <laughs> I forget what it is, man. My bad. Uh, okay. So there's another shopkeep down there. Should we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You asked the Cubs Vane Hurts you. Okay, that's right, that's right. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> should we... We should probably fight everything, right? We get another seed of some sort. Whatever the hell that potion is. There we get another base. Can you mix... 
like, okay, so the tutorial told us to mix a material with a all right all right we are back mic stand please <laughs> i'm gonna have to buy like a little tiny weights or something and put on it it's weird though like i've never had any problems it is a super cheap one don't get me wrong but i've never had any problems with it until just recently wow. it uh like doesn't want to stay down but i think it'll be okay so worst case scenario i'll just get like some i don't know little washers or, or something that you know to add a pound or two to it uh okay daphne can we switch like scooby and shaggy at the same time i'm assuming we probably can right maybe please yes just taking forever there it goes Dude, Thelma, if you can just hop straight up here, why the hell didn't you just do that to begin with, dude? <laughs> you can play two player? You can play two player. Yeah, each character can, or each person can control one of the characters. Why, you want to plug in a PS1 controller and try it out? <laughs> or is this a game that you just want to play together? Because you know I'm always trying to get games, you to play games with me. All right, this is a Fred moment. I feel like that would make the game a lot more fun, too, to be honest, playing with two people. Don't get me wrong. It's a pretty decent game on its own so far. But, like, right now, while I'm just waiting for this to switch characters or whatever, like, one of us could be doing that while the other one's, I don't know, running around trying to collect the next thing or whatever. Just got done eating if you want me to come up. You can if you want, but, uh, I don't know. We haven't figured out a better way to set the mic up, so you're probably going to have to be off mic, but you can play if you want. Or if you just want to play, we can play it together later. That is, of course, assuming that the PlayStation 1 controller even works on this game. I'm assuming it will, but I, I don't actually know for sure. Oh no, that lever's just going to take us back outside, isn't it? Son of a bitch. I, I wish it would... It, I'm assuming they have it work this way so that it can load different sections in on those transitions. But it would be really nice if... Uh, if it didn't, <laughs> like, force us to go through. If it just held the door open whenever we pulled the lever and then we could freely walk back and forth. The white headphones won't work? Uh, da -da -da. I don't know the mic on them won't work. Like, you could hear the game or whatever, but you wouldn't be able to, to talk on the mic. I mean, there's my mic, but my mic's set up in such a way that it's inches from my face to right properly pick up my voice. Remember, that's the problem we had last time. time Wait, where are we actually moves. going anyways? What <laughs> what are we doing? I'm assuming... Were we Maybe we were supposed to jump down the other direction over there or something. That's why you suggested the white headphones. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad idea, but no, the uh, the mic wouldn't wouldn't pick up. I could set it to pick up, but there would be a lot of background noise. Anyways, love. Like I said, if you want to play, we can play it together some other time. That's not an issue, dude. Oh, wait, did that say we need 150 of those? Holy shit, dude. What kind of special info do we get if we if we murder enough of them? I was thinking we were going to need, like, I don't know, 25 or something like that, not 150. That seems like a lot. <laughs> Can we go over here? No, probably not. Looks like heavy. But this is what I pay you for, is it not? I know you're not exactly a bodyguard, but this is more of a garbage removal job. Costington is on the other end of that intercom. Now would be the perfect time to talk to him. Okay, let's talk to him. Hi there. Uh, Mystery, Mystery Incorporated? What an yep. <laughs> How'd you know who we are? Surprise? Surprise? What do you mean? We left as soon as we hung up the phone. So, what is this nonsense 
So wait, we were asked to... I, I missed something at some point. <laughs> you broke the body, can't handle more than eight digits? I mean, it can... You have more than eight digits worth of points. It just, for whatever reason, you can't gamble more than eight digits worth. Maybe that's the... That might be what I have the maximum set to, because remember when I tried to set it to something stupid high, it just wouldn't work at all. So that might just be what the maximum is, is 9,000, or not 9, 999,999,000 or whatever the hell it is. Where'd that frog go? I saw him jumping around here again. There he is. What happens if we capture him again? Anything? Okay, no, nothing. <laughs> just just more random random nonsense. I mean there's some water over here, dude. It's not quite a swamp, but it's better than the desert, I have to presume. Oh wait, ghost, how do we take pictures? Oh, it's gone. Son of a bitch. I'm pretty sure we get some sort of bonus if we take pictures of the ghost, right? I think I remember seeing that back in the cabin or whatever you want to call it. Damn you, ghost! <laughs> I feel like you're just screwing with me at this point. There we go. Let's go. You're now an experienced forensic photographer. And we unlocked clown headgear. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> We can be literal clowns now. I like it. Oh, we haven't put hats on the other three characters. Out of those ones that we've uh, that we looked at before, are there any any specific hats you guys would want on Velma, Daphne, and Fred? I guess clown headgear as well can be selected. Okay, we kind of <laughs> we kind of clipped through the ground to get that one. Whatever, it works. <laughs> Look, the game might be a tiny bit buggy. It's fine. Wait, I see. I shouldn't. I can't help it, though. I need to collect all the things. Can we go inside? Wait, there's a person downstairs. <laughs> let's, let's talk to the person first, maybe. Hello, are you whatever the person's name is? Oh, you don't have this one yet, Rue? This place has been stopped by strange things ever since I found the... You've so most spilled the bean there. Ever since that wretched harmonica... Yes, Noodle. Be heard. I see. It always seems to start in the cemetery. And oh, good. Cemetery. That's, <laughs> that's where we want to go. Bandito fellows appear to terrorize the town. I had Romero, my butler, lock the cemetery some time ago. He still has the key. You can find him inside. Find him inside. Okay. I love, I love how she just throws books like they're shuriken or something, man. Velma secretly a uh, here, a ninja. Dad. God, I hit the mic stand. Stay put, please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Stop collecting things. Just go. We're not completing the game right now. It's fine. Look, I'm not going to do more than put hats on everyone anyways, and we already have enough points for that. So, just <laughs> control the urge. Self-control. We got this. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> why? Why do all these dead ladies have bouquets of dynamite? I don't. <laughs> I don't. Uh. 
Oh my god, they throw them too. Oh no. <laughs> Is this like a thing in, in uh it'd be Mexican folklore, right? Somebody correct correct me if I'm wrong, but that's where that's where like all the mariachi and, and uh De, La, De Las Morta Day of the Dead, whatever the hell it's called. That's where all that stuff comes from, right? God, they just keep coming too, dude. Are their masks separate? They are separate. Ow, bruh, that's not very nice. <laughs> I do not consent to being being blown up by your bouquet of fucking dynamite, bro. Is that everyone? I hear someone somewhere. Oh, hi, there you are. You know what they say, knowledge is the best weapon after all. Hi, Romero. Uh, what the hell's going on here, dude? I was done for. There are still more of those zombie brides in the rooms on this floor. Can you clear them out for Costington? I am no match for them. Okay, if three random teenagers and... Or four random teenagers and a dog are a match for them, I think you could probably handle it, bro. She later. runs kind of weird too, doesn't she? All dainty like. Did he say on this floor? Or I, should I be downstairs? Maybe. Yeah, no, shit. I don't think I was meant to come upstairs yet. My bad. Silence, you're also here. Hey, Silence. How you doing tonight, bro? Oh shit, I didn't even see that one. I thought that was Fred. Wondrous? I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not, but I hope you're not. <laughs> I hope you're actually doing wonderful, my guy. Suddenly we're playing COD Zombies. Gotta go around shutting windows and patching them up and shit. A fraction of a sandwich fraction of a sandwich we're just going around collecting leftovers now Ooh, a chest what the hell that's a hawaiian shirt did the texture glitch out on that or something that <laughs> that looks i don't know like an old dingy shirt or something with it as green as it is I don't, <laughs> it's not exactly what I think of when I think Hawaiian. Okay, is there a window again? There is. Ah, get fucked. <laughs> you ought to be more careful. Evidence collected. More chests? Nope. Just more dudes. They really need to get uh, some locks on their windows or something, man. Maybe your place wouldn't be overrun with zombies if you had some. Oh shit, there's two windows. Oh no, he made it in. It's not very nice to hit a girl, dude. It'd be hilarious if, like, Velma had a chance to lose her glasses whenever she got hit. And then she just became useless until she found them. Like, the screen got that super blurry or, or dark or something. That would have been fun. Alright, Romero. I cleared them out. What do you got for us, my guy? Gracias. I had fear for the worst. You want me to open the cemetery? I mean, not really, but I kind of need to go there. Sure can. Ah, this is a good partnership. I will open the cemetery for you. If you could help me get my instrument back. Gosdington hid it from me. I saw him put it in the reading room somewhere. 
You can find it on the second floor. I've got a feeling that reading room will We're be at a million yet. Things. One, two, Let's or a billion. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No, 199 million. Billions a lot, dude. It takes a while to get there. Like, I've mentioned it before, but I, I watched this guy, Tom Scott, and he did a, uh, a visualization one time of how much more one billion is than, than a million by taking his GPS and hooking it up and with a counter with some sort of multiplier. I, f I forget, like... No, not not Tom Scott. Tom, Tom Scott. Um, <laughs> anyways... And, uh, like, he walked across a parking lot, and that was equal to one million dollars. And then, uh, he went to show how far it would take to get to a billion, but in order to do so, he had to get in his car and drive for, like, 45 minutes or something like that down a highway <laughs> to, to get to a billion. Like, that's how much more a billion actually is than a million. It's crazy. Reading room, second floor, okay. And then, of course, he uploaded the whole thing to YouTube. The I whole unedited trip. <laughs> he might have sped it up a little bit, or it might have been real time. I don't remember. Find the three missing books for the reading room. Well, there was one downstairs, was there not? Like, locked up in that, that glass case. Yes, he did also send garlic bread to space. This is true. Can we, can we get in there? If I remember correctly though, at the end of that video, he tried it, like he took a bite of it. I'm pretty sure. I could be mistaken about that though. So how the hell do we get that book? Or do we just find all three of them over here somewhere? And there's the blue one. Maybe once we find one, it'll do something with the next one. Okay. So we gotta get we gotta get Daphne to pole dance by completing this puzzle. Okay. <laughs> this looks like a lot of box moving. Uh no. Go all the way over there. And then check this out. This one over here. Wait, you know what? This Check one's this probably going to have to go over here, actually. And then... So we need to get that one to go over here. So we need to get this one out of the way. Garlic bread should never be sent to... Why not, dude? It's... No, wait. So let's just get you all the way over so you're out of the way. God, puzzles, man. And then get you up here. And then over here. Never been great at box puzzles and things, I'm not gonna lie. But I, I think we're doing this one okay. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Velma, can you... <laughs> can you get the hell out of there? <laughs> Dude... <laughs> You're kind of in the way, bro. Okay. Now this one over here. Oh, wait. This one can only move straight forward. Yeah, so we're fine. We're fine. I was thinking I was going to have to push it over, too. But no, I guess because it's kind of like at a slant or something like that, that it's fine. We don't have to really push it over. Just like this. I could move that. I'm assuming that was right. Daphne, do your thing, dude. It takes so long just to load a new character. It's kind of... Ah, it's... Oh, the PS2. It's fantastic. I'm not positive about that. Actually. Cosington seems like a bit of a character, dude. He might leave random books stacked on top of piles of, of boxes. Well, I'm assuming this one goes with with the with this one. Okay, so next would be yellow then, which that's got to be the one down bottom. Hey Noodle, thank you so much for the 5 bits, love. Appreciate you. Oh, Fred. Okay. I'm assuming push. 
And then, of course, we need Daphne back. Is there anything else in here, though? Ooh, a secret button. The red book. Can we not just, like, jump on the bed and get it? Call me crazy, Let's go, dude. This belongs here. But wait, what's the... What's the other thing for, then? I mean, it's there. We gotta check it out. We can't just leave it. Damn it. I keep wanting to press triangle to, to confirm my selection. Because you hold triangle to open that menu. And that's just not right. <laughs> I screw it up every time, man. Up, up, left, right. Surprised we got that. Oh, that probably unlocks downstairs. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And we're going to need Shaggy. Shaggy's the one with the super jump. Switch to the Shagster. Thank you. Can I switch characters while this is loading? No. No, I cannot. <laughs> okay, that's fine. The only place for books, dude, is like right back on the shelf. I take it Shaggy's not much of a reader. I enjoy a good book every now and then, not gonna lie. We cleaned up the house for you. Now what? Jinkies. I've never seen a security system like this before. Oh god. <laughs> Let's try standing on the pad. Red, green, blue, red, green. Such a hard puzzle, bro. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> she freaking stay off it, dude. <laughs> red. Pretty good. Green, blue, red. Man. Stay off the buttons. That seems to nicely. Oh, that's where that's where the harmonica's hidden. Of course it is. Where else would you hide a harmonica except for inside a freaking It's not a piano, right? That looks more like a Oh, what are those things that they play in churches? Looks more like one of them. Ah, oh, see, see, this is it. You have made me very happy. I will now open the cemetery path for you. But first uh -huh. Pipe organ. Yes, yes. Thank you. Happy memories. Sure. Why not, dude? Is a happy moment. Please take my photo. Soon as I remember how. Square X. I le there we go. <laughs> I legitimately forget how, man. My bad. Romero's harmonica. Romero has an unusual connection to his harmonica. Cosington said a harmonica can be heard when the banditos arrive. Mmm, you don't say. Bueno, bueno, gracias. Head to the cemetery path gate. I will be there. Wait, where's the cemetery gate at? Is it outside? Well, I mean, there's an exclamation point, so I, I'm assuming this is the right way. I just kind of noticed that uh, Velma's prison uniform is kind of like her normal attire, right? Like it's got the it's got the turtleneck, it's it's got the skirty bit at the bottom of it. That's cute. I'm assuming everyone's is kind of like whatever they normally wear. Although I guess everyone else kind of more or less wears normal, you know, shirts and pants. Wait, so did I miss something? Why is the exclamation point on both sides? Locked gate next to the jail. Okay, so we do gotta go all the way back. It's a neat detail, detail though. It is, it is. It's a cute game, man. If I was like, I don't know, 15 or younger or something like that, maybe maybe a little bit younger than 15, like, I don't know, 12-ish or something, this would be really, really cool. Even as an adult, it's still fun, but it you can tell it was made for like, a younger audience, you know, with the, the puzzles being the way they are, the clue finding parts, the only one we've come across so far where it's just straight up told us, like, hey, take a picture of me, please, <laughs> because it's a clue. You know what I mean? It was made for Rue. <laughs> uh, I mean, I admit I don't know you that well off a of stream, but you come across as someone that could complete a puzzle just a wee bit harder. 
But it is fun, though. I'm having fun with it. And if Noodle wants to play it, I would totally play this game with her. Loading screen. Nice. See, I told you, dude. It's gotta be Nate. Nate's the only one that can win consistently at the gamble. Everyone else gets, uh, gets one or two good runs in, but somehow that dude gets over a hundred million points. Like, <laughs> I mean, I am a dumbass, but thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> We're all dumbasses here, dude. It's fine. <laughs> uh, shit, you right? I told y'all, dude. Nate needs to just go all in. I don't even know if the all in would work. It would probably, I guess it would just do the 999,000 or whatever. Up, up, down, left. See, right there, dude. <laughs> Nate won whatever that number is. I'm not, I'm not even gonna try and figure it out, but like. You two lose. He bets a, a million points or whatever, instantly wins. Like, I know I've brought it up before, like a fair few times, but the Scooby-Doo Apocalypse storyline would make a really good game, I feel like. Cause you know, it's a little bit more adult than the, than the other Scooby stuff and uh, it has the the real monsters and all that shit for you to fight wow. Wow. wait where's the gate we're supposed to be going to this isn't it right no near the it said near the uh, near the prison did we pass it Where's the prison again? <laughs> I'm lost. Hold on. Town Square. Yeah, it's over here somewhere. Oh, it's like hidden back here. Do we have to break it? No, that's where they got out at. Go back the other way? I don't know how long ago that message came through. Is it this one? This gate? Oh, okay. <laughs> we got some, some dynamite bouquet ladies around here somewhere. There it is. Thanks, man. <laughs> no to the right, but I found it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> See, I got this. I kind of know where I'm going. Vaguely. Cemetery path. It's 120. We got one more hour in us tonight. I think we're going to have to call this one here, guys. But it is a fun game. I do suggest giving this one a try. I don't remember how much I uh, got it for. Let me look up what the normal price is. That's something I should do for the for the games in general. Price charting. It is... What's this called again? Spooky Swamp? MP. Scooby-Doo in the Spooky Swamp. For a complete inbox copy is about $17. For a loose disc is about $13. So not all that bad, honestly. $17, man? I feel like it's worth $17. But anyways, we are going to go ahead and switch the game over. We're going to try out some, uh, what was it, Naruto Shippuden or whatever. And then we'll uh, be right back. Level of base. I guess we have to kind of do that. Huh. Okay. Because you have to mix, what, the base with mulberry seeds or whatever to actually...